Today we're gonna take a look at Studio Plugins, which is a plugin for After Effects and Premiere Pro. By the way, Studio Plugins were kind enough to sponsor today's video to help us create more content for you guys, so we're gonna talk about it and why it might be helpful to you. Now, this might not be the usual stuff we do on this channel, but I think Studio Plugins is a really good investment. I actually have been using it for a while now to edit videos, even for this channel. So regardless of the sponsorship, it was a no-brainer for me, because I think it is a great product and I highly recommend it. So let's check Studio Plugins and what it can offer. Alright, first things first. Studio Plugins is a library of video editing presets. It offers a wide range of transitions, text animations, graphics and text effects in addition to color presets and even sound effects for many video editing software but mainly Premiere Pro and After Effects, which is what we're gonna focus on today. Since I started preparing this video, I kept thinking about how could it be useful for you guys as 3D artists. And it got me thinking about what can After Effects plugin offer for a 3D artist. And I think I know exactly how you can incorporate studio plugins in your workflow, especially if you are a content creator, animator, or product designer, because these add-ons can get you up to speed very quickly to spice up your animations or 3D projects. So let's pick a very quick imaginary product that we're gonna create in Blender. Actually, let's panel back a little bit because it is not that imaginary. I just Google vitamin C in Google and this brand came up. So I will use it. So we're gonna bring our animation or image sequence to After Effects and see how we can make our work even better using Studio Plugins, which is really helpful when working on a motion graphics project. Studio Plugins offers a free subscription where you can get access to some of the content, but of course, if you want to enjoy the full experience, you will have to purchase the premium offer. For the yearly plan, you are looking at a little over $5 per month. It isn't really that much if you are going to use it on a daily basis. Of course, you can always enjoy the free version, which includes all features and updates. First and foremost, to install the Studio Plugins Manager, head to studioplugins.net and download the application by clicking the free or premium plan. Once you install the application, it's gonna ask you to log in for the first time. Once you do that, you will see two sections with a list of Premiere and a list of After Effects presets. To install one of them, you can hit install next to the desired presets. If you only have the free version, then you won't have this option available. In After Effects, the way you find Studio Plugins is by going to the Windows menu, choose Extensions, and from there, pick AE Studio. The Plugin Studio window will pop up, and you can place it next to any After Effects panels. On the Premiere Pro side, the process is basically the same, only this time, you will see Premiere Studio instead of AE Studio. But, let's first see the product we're gonna make. I want to keep it simple, so this vitamin C bottle will do, because we can get enough of that, especially lately. I'm not gonna show every detail, but the modeling was fairly straightforward. I just created a circle and extended it a couple of times. For the cap, I just separated the last circle and created the cap out of that, extruded a couple of times and filled the cap by hitting F on the keyboard. And to keep this interesting, I selected all the faces around and then set them. And don't forget to check individual and then I extruded them inward. For the screw thread, I used a part of the bottle geometry and separated it and then applied a screw modifier to it. Next, I applied a subdivision modifier to smooth things out and went back and tightened all of those edges by sliding some loop cuts around and that's it. Now the modeling is done. Then I just downloaded some images for the texture. I threw them in Photoshop and created a long wraparound label. To make it easier to apply, I duplicated part of the bottle geometry and scaled it just a tiny bit. So it sits just above the bottle. This way, when I apply the texture, it's gonna be a perfect fit with geometry. Now, let's add some lighting and animate our camera around the model and animate the cap and the lights. Now all that is left is to export the animations. Now in After Effects, we just need to import our animations and get the advantage of all the titles, graphics and transitions Studio Plugins has to offer. First, I'm gonna add some of the title animations. There are a ton of them around, like fade, position, rotation, scale, or a combination of all the above. But I'm gonna use these fade-ins instead. You can also customize all of them even after applying the effect. 
To apply the text animations for example, you have to create your text layer first and then apply the animation to it. The good thing is, you can stack all these effects and transitions together, which creates a far more dynamic and unique result. I'm gonna use this transition between some of the shots again. There is a huge selection of transitions that you can choose from, such as wrap, zoom, glitch and many many more. And for the record, let me give you a small piece of advice. When you are using elements or transitions in your video, try to use them more than once, because if you use them only one time, they will look out of place. I also used some of the sound effects that came with Studio plugins. There is surprisingly a long list of sound effects that you will find useful here. Things like environment sounds, computer, footsteps, home, odd element sounds, micro sound, magic, office, and so on. And the great thing is, you can preview all of them, including all the assets inside the Studio Plugins window, and you can do this in real time by just hovering over any sound to listen to it. We actually used some transitions for the bounce and light leaks categories, and this is our final result. Of course, this is not something you would use to promote your product, or to create it for other people, but this is just a demonstration of what Studio Plugins can offer and how easy to use it. So if you like what you see, and you want to check studio plugins, you can follow the link in the description down below. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.